before we get this vlog started, make sure you hit that like button right now. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and hit the little notification bell so you can get notified every time we post a new video. Don't be a hater all your life. It's never too late to stop being a hater, man. Go on subscribe. Go on hit the like button. It ain't gonna hurt you. It's free. Ah. up with my hand itching today baby let's see how much money we gonna make today you know what i'm saying you wake up with your hand itching there's some money around here somewhere man you gotta find it man thank you so much You got trees. It don't matter. Oh. Okay, we look cute, baby. So we're at La Mexicana restaurant. And we're about to eat some breakfast. I got me a coffee. I love coffee. Houston's acting up. That looks like a stomach ache. No, it ain't. Unos tamalitos, you know what I'm talking about? Here. Hold it. Crazy. Alright, so that was delicious. And now I don't even know what we're about to do. We have to go. We have to go melt all that merch. So the struggle is real. We were mailing y'all's merch. I was mailing stuff and Kelly sitting in there knowing the car on E and didn't turn the car off or just decided we parked at the gas station because I knew the car was on E. And I was taking hella long in there to mail all the merch and the car just turned off. And Kelly just sitting in there like did he did he did he like not a worry in the world. <laughs> She could have put some gas or called me or told me that the car was run out of gas. To my defense, I had no idea that we were running low on gas, you guys. Like, if I did, I obviously would have turned the gas, the car off, first of all, and I would have pumped gas. But I had no idea. Like, honestly, before we went to eat, we pumped gas. I think. But. And then we parked on the wrong side. Our gas tank ain't on the side of the gas pump. Our gas tank is on the opposite side. And it's gas station don't sell gas tanks, so I had to get somebody to get a water jug. We want to know you. No, but honestly, there's like those people right here. Look, there's like yard people right here with a whole gas tank thing right there. A gas bucket, a gallon, or whatever they're called. And Lucky went over there to ask if we could borrow it, and they were like, "Come on, no, they can't." stop into a fuel max store whenever you want. People are asking y'all for help. Make sure y'all help. We got the big body turned around. We got it going now, man. We ain't finna let nothing get in the way of our happiness. You know what I'm saying? We back on the road, baby. You gotta be great no matter what comes your way. We ducking and dodging all negativity. Like ping, 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 pew, pew, pew. You know what I'm saying? But it's been a rain though. So I'm glad that wasn't happening in the rain, man, because then I'd have been a little upset. <laughs> Y'all see them clouds? Oh, it's been a pole down raining, man. We ain't gonna be driving in the thunderstorm today. Hey man, you need to control your thoughts. The thoughts you think create the world around you, believe it or not, man. So think positive, man. I ain't used to have no nails. I used to bite my nails all the time and worry and doubt, anxiety. Keep all that inside of you and it leads to depression. And it all starts with your mind. It's the thoughts you think. 
So you gotta have faith. Have faith in God, man. Put God first. He got you through it last time, he gonna get you through it the next time. When I look back and see at the, all the low, dark places that I was in my life and to where I'm at right now, I know if God can get me through that, he can get me through anything. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta believe it, man. You gotta believe it. If you believe it, you can achieve it. I wanna see you win, man. I wanna see you prosper. I wanna see you be successful in life. Oh, it feel good to be home. It's nice and cold up in here, too. Got the AC blowing snow. Got a letter from Tomcat, free Tomcat. Y'all want me to read Tomcat's letter? Lucky. What it do, my snicker? My snicker. That's how he spelled it. M O S H N U K K A. Maine. I thank you for that money you sent me. I went from having nothing to having something quick. I got to store at 8 a.m., you feel me? How did you like your birthday card? Nigga, you sent me some money on your birthday. It's supposed to be the other way around, LOL. Say, I wanted to tell you some things, but I don't have the time to when I hit you up. You need to set up your phone for me. I tried to call your number and Asia's number, and they both not working yet. I really need to hear some music over the phone. That slick Chris talk type of shit, you dig? That put a wig on a pig and get it to gig, know what I'm talking about? Have you heard from Roly? Hit that boy up for me and tell him to give me some shoes. Look, don't go buy me no shoes. Fix your phone. I'll wait on Roly to get the shoes. I got some steak boots for now. You said you, go, you got an Amazon account. Shoot me the Art and Science of Respect book by J. Prince, please. Also, shoot some pics whenever you get a chance in a letter. If you don't want to write, tell Asia to write the letter for you and <laughs> and then send it like that. Well, I gotta go to work right now, holla at me. Thanks for staying down and keeping it one thigh wild. Turn your phone on, nigga, love and respect, Tomcat SNS. Free Tomcat, man, you know what I'm saying? Currently sitting in the parent line because it's raining out here, so we had to pick the kids up from school and you know there's a long line of parents trying to pick their little ones up from school. I want to give a huge shout out to Predomina uh, for sending me this bodysuit right here. Nah, but for real, make sure y'all go to www.prettynina Nina is spelled N-I-N-N-A dot com, okay? And go ahead and get some of this work. I don't know, man. Like, our daily vlog shows y'all what we go through on a daily and it, we be going through a lot honestly and it's like little things that could just turn left real quick and I uh, I'm just glad it wasn't raining like this when we ran out of gas earlier and honestly it's just it's hard to stay positive in times like these and but we're gonna stay positive and keep pushing forward baby in situations like these but like i told y'all yesterday you have to be a certain type of individual to be able to deal with everything that this wonderful man of mine and myself deal with so there's people out there that are going through worse so count your blessings instead of trying to worry and stress about all the negative the best thing you can do for a kid is just be there. Just be there with the kid. Just having that time with them. That ain't always about buying them stuff or spoiling them or giving them everything they want. It's just your presence. Spending that time and being there with them. That's the best thing you can do for them. Because if you was a street nigga and then your son is a street nigga, you failed as a father. Or if you was a stripper and your daughter's a stripper, you failed as a mother. Well, man, you know what I mean, man. If you was in the streets and then your son is in the streets, you failed, man. You gotta, that's why we live way out here. That's why I moved out here, you know what I'm saying? It's so my kids don't be growing up in that same environment that I was growing up in. We live way out here for that reason, for the kids. It ain't for me, you know what I'm saying? Nah, it ain't for me, shit. I was a bachelor living in a high rise in the Galleria, man. You know what I'm saying? That's where I was living when I was single and didn't have no kids. I was in the mix. You know what I'm saying? We can't be having them grow up around that environment. I was lucky enough not to go to prison, but you know, if I would keep my kids in that area, they might not be as lucky and might end up in prison. So we gotta keep them far away from that negativity, man. If y'all ever get a chance to move out, I would suggest you move out far away. You know what I'm saying? Where it's nice and quiet. 
You don't hear no sirens, no gunshots. Dweeb ass parents, man. <laughs> this nigga here, we waiting in a line. We've been waiting in line to get these damn kids. We're gonna get out the car in front of me with his umbrella and just walk off and leave his car parked in front while we in line. Everybody honking behind me because I'm holding up the line now because I'm taking up the other lane. What is you walking out the car for with your little umbrella? <laughs> He just got up out this car and left his car right there. Donnie's the one of a kind. He's a screamer. You know what to call a screamer? A screamer. Basically, what I was trying to say before was dad done ran out of glass. Like a bozo done parked on the other side. I'm not even gonna get started on this dude, bro. I mean, I'm sorry, dad. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. You know the best thing that could happen to a child? Is to be born in poverty. That right there will put some ambition and hustle into your heart. But when you're born with everything handed to you, it's a little bit harder for you. Like this one over here. That's not even true, Dad. Stop. Come over here, boy. No. I'm trying to teach him. He needs to start going the extra mile and put forth some effort. That's the only way he's gonna get ahead in life. Cause I told his little butt to pick up this swimming pool the other day and stack it against the wall. And he saw all Houston's little toys right there and he just threw them in the grass and let them stay right there. You're gonna have to pick it up twice. You ain't doing nothing but working harder. You need to work smarter, not harder, son. Now you're going to have to bend over again and pick it up again. See? You see what just happened right now? Yes, I saw it. Now you're picking it up again. You picked it up once, now you're picking it up twice. I know. <laughs> My God. This is your fault, boy. You should have did it right the first time. <laughs> you're the camera my face. Now go throw all them toys in the trash. There you go. Stop! I got a challenge. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go get a little one bedroom, $400 a month apartment. And we're all going to go live there for a whole month. And we're going to vlog that. And see how y'all like it. And guess what's going to happen, Dad? You're just going to start complaining to y'all grumpy little and y'all mad. Well, you're going to hope I don't catch you. You're going to hope I don't catch you, boy. He like raising his voice at his daddy, see what happens. See what happens, boy. Boy, I'll chase him around his kitchen counter all night, boy. What's going on? Houston, I mean, King, Kingston about to get it. Why are you Cause laughing? Because he, he's yelling. I heard the puppy. Look, you got a whole shirt right here that I washed. You go cut up. Go, Joe. Come get your shirt. Get your shirt. I'm over here for a little bit. Well, get your shirt. Kid, come on. You know when I was. <laughs> I can't. Don't spin to you. Come on. I didn't do anything. Go. King. <laughs> you playing with her, boy. All I did was say that you're going to be the man with that. I'm about to put a clip of them bangs you had. Stop! Stop, Dad! Y'all remember when Kingston had bangs? Stop! Oh my gosh! That was funny, huh? Stop! Alright, man. We're going to get into our nightly routine. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. We'll be back with y'all tomorrow. Before we go, I want to give a shout out to Beaner and Jules. Because they say they got five kids and one on the way. So I know they can relate to this household and what we got going on around here, man. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, man, and uh, don't be a hater all your life. Remember, it's never too late to stop being a hater. Subscribe. You be at. Oh, they got it wrong, nigga. Some money, man. I ain't never going, bro. Hey. <laughs>